Hi, in this explanatory technical video, I'm going to explain why a fuse needs to be one of the first things that are connected in your appliance. So I'm going to quickly explain why a fuse needs to be connected prior to all your components. Over here, I have an old audio amplifier. Right, the electrical cable is plugged in at the back, and I don't know if you can see it, there comes the electrical cable and it runs on the inside over here. So there comes the electrical cable, it goes through a switch because there's a panel mount switch on the front, and here you can see a series of fuses. So why do they put the fuses immediately after the power switch? I'm going to answer that question now, showing you with a diagram. Right, so in this layout, you've got your supply, that's your household supply, your domestic supply, 110 volts, 220 volt, whatever it may be. Then let's say, for example, you've got your load. This would be your components, your light fitting, whatever it is. And now you decide to put the fuse after your load. This would be incorrect, but you might be thinking, if it's a series circuit, why does it matter if the fuse is after the load or before the load? And the reason is simple. I'm first going to show you a live to neutral fault, which will still be protected by the fuse. Say, for example, something happens in your load, there's a fault, and it becomes like almost a short circuit. Small little internal resistance, but it becomes a short circuit. So say, for example, this load was asking for 1 amp, and the fuse was 5 amps, and now it's like a short circuit, something happened in your load, somebody connected the wires together, or some of the transistors destroyed themselves, and now they become almost like a short circuit. Yes, in this case, the fuse will still work, because a lot of current will want to flow, the fuse will melt, and at about 5 amps, depending on the rate of rise of the current, this fuse will then disconnect the circuit, and in effect, this fuse would protect this load under such a circumstance. However, under other fault conditions, this fuse would be useless, and I'll now demonstrate them. Right, so here we've got the same load, and the fuse was put after the load. Now, remember I showed you that amplifier. It was made out of metal, so the chassis has an earth connection. So that means the chassis of that amplifier, or maybe it's your heater, maybe it's your oven, maybe it's a light fitting, is supposed to be connected to earth. Now what happens if there's a fault inside this load, there's your live wire, and it is shorted to earth. So you're getting an earth fault like that. So you're getting a live to earth connection, so it becomes an earth fault. So what happens is the current is going to flow like this. It's not going to flow the, in this direction. It's not going to go via the neutral all the way back to the supply. It's going to flow directly into earth. Why? Because don't forget that the supply is also with reference to an earth point. So the current here will reach a maximum and the fuse will not disconnect the circuit. So if a human unfortunately had their one hand on earth and the other hand on the live wire, they would get a big electric shock. They could even be electrocuted. There's nothing in line here to stop the current from flowing. Yes, this is still a series circuit, but now the current has a different path because of earth. If the fuse was there, then even if there was an earth fault, the current that wants to flow to earth from the live wire to earth would still need to go through this fuse and by having to go through the fuse the fuse would melt and clear the fault. So the principle is always try and have your protection equipment prior to the load so that the protection equipment can protect the load but not only the load it can also protect anything that happens just after the protection equipment the fuse or the circuit breaker. So in closing, from your live wire, protection, then your circuitry, your load. Yeah, you see the photo of a back of an appliance and you can see immediately where you plug it in. There's the fuse. The fuse is in line with the live wire to disconnect the appliance under faulty conditions. Thanks for watching. Cheers.